Welcome back to my channel, you guys. It's your girl, Raja. And in today's video, we're doing the big chop. Yes, the big chop. I went natural in 2016. My whole pregnancy, I decided to go natural. And after that, it just, it stuck to me. I didn't really want any more perms. I didn't want to deal with having to do the mixture and putting in my hair. So I was like, you know what? I'm done with perms. I'm going to try natural. And of course, you know, I still have perms in. So as my natural hair was growing in, which I really didn't know how to take care of, um, it started to get matted. So after three years, I am still in the same position. I do a lot of sew-ins and quick weaves and whatnot. Um, just to avoid really trying to take care of my natural hair. I don't add any moisture or anything. So I'm just like damaged, a whole mess. My hair look like it needs to be shaved off right now. I tried to wash my hair last night and it was a mess. Literally, I could not get my fingers to sat to like saturate the shampoo whatsoever, and then I was still a little slow enough to go and try to condition it afterwards, and could not get anywhere. It was really just a waste, and I barely got any type of dirt out. When I was washing my hair, it was like light brown. You normally, whenever your hair is real dirty, it you know all of the buildup comes out and everything, and it was barely anything. The water was just still coming out mostly clear so i was like okay this is a big problem i just need to go ahead and just cut it off as bad as i didn't want to but at the same time by me being natural for three years and i just want nothing but natural hair it's time to clip it off um i did my son some braids in his hair and for a while i've been having problems with parting his hair and i realized that i need to clip his ends after i clipped his ends we didn't have any problem. I was literally parting his hair, combing it out with no problem. So I was like, that was like, that was, that was good enough for me. I was sealed. Time to cut it all off. So if you would like to see my results, stay tuned. I'll turn my light on. I don't know if you can really see it as much, but this looks ridiculous. I look extremely bald head, but I don't care. I'm gonna be bald head for real soon. But I turned the light on so I don't know if you can see the problem that I'm having. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and <laughs> take my scissors and cut. I'm, I don't really feel like I can even get through this. Let me see. It don't hurt or anything, it's just too much. I literally just sat up here and saturated my hair with water and I still have dry spots. Like, oh my gosh, this don't make any sense. Okay.
So this is basically it. I don't think it's up. Maybe I should put it back on a tripod, but this is how much hair. Look at this. This was fried on my hair. Then some little strands mixed in with stuff like this. But I'm about to go and wash and deep condition it. I would record that, but I don't have too much memory time. But I'll come back and. So this is basically what we have after cutting everything off and I feel like a whole new person. <laughs> I look like a whole new person. But I just got done resting off the conditioner. So I'm gonna go in. I know I noticed that when they were saying that with moisturizing your hair to have an oil and this is my of moisturizing oil and some type of leave-in conditioner you know some type of oil base and um condition base to keep it moist every single day so that's what i want to do and probably leave it at that but you guys i can actually go through it now with no problem But thank you guys. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. This is like, I'm feeling this whole natural state right now. I didn't even grow my eyebrows out just so I can have them perfected again. But everything is just, uh, I have a just a very good aura right now. I can dig through my scalp with no problem. And it is so, it is so moist. Look at my fingers. It is, it is moist. And I'm, I'm loving it. Really am. But I really, really enjoyed it. And I will be on a hair growth journey. And you guys can follow that as well. And I will still be doing more hair videos. But I will, you know, start to remember to keep my hair 
moisturize. I know I need to at least keep it moist anywhere from every day to every other day. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Toodles.